Hi, welcome to today's Making Meaning reading lesson. My name is Mrs. Burgess and I'm a kindergarten teacher at Broadview Thompson School. We're going to be using a, a nonfiction book um, today and um, during the, uh, the reading we are going to be doing a couple different things that are really, really important to understand the book. We're going to be wondering. That means we're going to be asking questions about the book. We're going to be asking questions about what else do we want to know. The other thing that we're going to do is we're really going to be thinking about what we're learning during the reading. What have we learned so far? We're going to do a lot of that too. When we're doing our wondering and thinking, the one thing that I'm going to ask you to do is to turn and talk. At school, we might have a turn and talk partner, and maybe you have a turn and talk partner at your home with you today for today's lesson. You might use a phone like this to pretend you're turning and talking to someone. You can turn and talk to Mrs. Burgess by using a pretend phone like this. You might have a stuffy nearby that you can talk to, but my very favorite thing to do, if I don't have anybody around or anything to talk to, I just whisper to my hand when it's time to turn and talk. All right, now you know what we're going to be doing while we're reading our book. Now, one book that we um, started the last lesson was A Tiger Cub Grows Up. This book is written by Joan Hewitt. She's the author. She wrote the words for this book. The photographs are by Richard Hewitt. Photographs are pictures that are taken with a camera and instead of drawing the pictures, Richard Hewitt took pictures with his camera and those are the pictures that we are using um, for our book, uh, for, our, for this book. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the photographs in the beginning of the book that we read before. You don't have to worry if you didn't come to the other lesson um, about this book because we'll go through and we'll look at the pictures to see what the pictures teach us. Let's go ahead and get started. A tiger cub grows up. Hmm. In these pictures, I see a tiger cub who's drinking milk. She's just a few days old, and I see that her eyes are still closed. Let's look at some other photographs at the beginning of this book. She still looks pretty young. So what's happening in these pictures? Why don't you go ahead and turn and talk about some of the things that you've seen in the pictures so far. One, two, three, back to me. And what have you learned so far by looking at the pictures? Yes, I heard that someone said that she is drinking milk. Yeah, another thing that I, I, I hear that someone learned is that a baby tiger cub, a very young baby tiger cub does sleep quite a bit. Let's look at some more pictures. Now, what's been happening on these pages? Go ahead, turn and talk. And you go ahead and talk to someone about what is happening in the pictures that we just saw. One, two, three, back to me. Let's see, oh yes. Exactly. We learned that uh, that this baby tiger is now chewing on a lot of different things, really chewing a lot of things. What else? Yes, she is much more active. She slept a lot when she was just a young, young cub, and now she's a little bit more active. 
Let's look at a few more pictures. Let's turn and talk and tell someone what you just learned from those pictures that you just saw. I'll just give you a minute to turn and talk. All right, one, two, three, back to me. Oh yes, in the pictures that we just saw, we see that Tara now is, is much, much larger and she's actually outside. We also saw some pictures where she wasn't very happy. And um, it looked like she, yes, it looked like she was being checked um, by a doctor. Maybe she went to see an animal doctor, a veterinarian. Those are things that we learned so far in this book. Let's go ahead and read some, um, some more of the book um, about Tara, a tiger cub. Tara goes outdoors. Grass and sky seem strange to Tara. The air is filled with new smells. The tiger cub follows her nose. She runs across the grass. Now that's a funny thing to read. She follows her nose. If I think about it and I followed my nose, maybe it would look like this. You try it, you follow your nose. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? Lynn takes care of Tara now. Lynn hugs Tara. She plays with Tara. She shows her falling leaves. Lynn plays with Tara every day. She teaches Tara what she can do. She teaches Tara what she cannot do. Let's think for a minute. Let's go ahead and think. What have you learned so far? What have you learned so far in this part of the book? Go ahead and turn and talk. And one, two, three, eyes on me. Let's hear what some of you have learned so far in this part of the book. Yes, Tara has a new keeper. She has a new keeper named Lynn. Yes, Tara is now playing outside a lot of the time. We also learned that from this part of the book. Let's keep reading. Tara greets Lynn with a friendly chuffing sound. Lynn returns the greeting. Let's take a look at that. A chuffing sound. A chuffing sound is like puffing and like a steam engine, and a chuffing sound would sound like this. You try a chuffing sound like Tara. That sounds exactly right. Let's read some more. Climbing over Lynn is fun. Following Lynn is fun. Tara creeps along the ground, then she pounces. Let's look at some of these pictures because I do want to talk about those two words. Creeping. To creep means to move slowly and quietly. This person is creeping next to the crib so she doesn't wake the baby. Now, Tara, Tara pounces on Lynn. When you pounce, that means you jump on something suddenly to grab a hold of it. Let's go ahead and pretend to creep along. That means to move slowly and quietly. And now to pounce means that you jump onto something suddenly to grab a hold of it. Let's pretend to pounce. That was fun. All right, let's keep reading. Tara joins the grown-up tigers. 
Tara is nine months old. She is big and strong. She can join the pack's grown-up tigers. Tara likes her new home. She can run across the grass. She can climb on logs. She can nap under the leafy trees. Tara watches the big tiger swim. She walks around the pond. It's hot, so Tara jumps in. Splash! Tara is one years old. A tiger cub has grown up. Let's go and think. Right now, what have you learned now in the book, T uh, Tiger Cub Grows Up? Turn and talk to a partner about the things that we've learned in this part of the book. One, two, three, back to me. Let's hear what some people have learned so far. Yes. We learned that even if Tara did not like baths when she was a baby cub, tiger cub, now that she's a little bit more grown up, she does like the water. We did learn that. What else have we learned? We learned that now Tara is big enough to join the adult tigers at the wild animal park. Yes, absolutely. Those are things that we learned in this part of the book. Now, I'm wondering, we've read this book now, and I think I know that I am still wondering about um, some parts of the book. I'm still wondering if Sarah, if Tara could survive in the wild, or would she like it better in the wild, or would she like it better in the park? And what are you still wondering about? Go ahead. Um, what are you still wondering about? about Tara um, the tiger cub. Go ahead and turn and talk about what you are still wondering about Tara the tiger cub. And one, two, three, back to me. I'm wondering what people are still wondering about Tara the tiger cub. Yes, uh, some per someone is wondering, how big will Tara get? Oh, I hear another person wonder about whether or not Tara is eating meat now. Is she still drinking milk? Those are great wonders. Let's go ahead and um, stop for a moment, and then we're going to think about all of the things that we've learned about baby animals. Hi, for this part of the lesson, we're going to be wondering about the different things that we've learned about baby animals. We've been looking at uh, four different books about baby animals. One of the books that we've read and discussed was A Baby Duck Story. Another book that we've read is A Baby Penguin Story. And just before we read about Tara the Tiger Cub, we read a story called A Harbor Seal Pup Grows Up. And, of course, we've read this book, A Tiger Cub Grows Up. So you can ask yourself, how are baby animals alike? How are they the same? How do baby animals learn to eat? What do baby animals need to grow? Or maybe you would ask yourself, what happens to uh, baby animals as they grow? What did you learn about baby animals in all of these books? Let's hear from um, our students. Uh, turn and talk and share about what you've learned um, about baby animals, and we'll put some of those things on our chart. Go ahead and turn and talk with a partner now about what you have learned about baby animals in these four books. All right, one, two, three, back to me. All right, let's hear from our students. Um, 
let's see, you would like to share and you, yes, some baby animals do grow up with people. Let's put that on our chart. And another person had an idea. Oh, yes. Um, they're saying that some baby animals drink their mother's milk. Yes, that is something that we learned. And another person has shared. Yes, I hear that some baby animals hatch from eggs. And yes, from our book, we learned that uh, some, well, baby tigers have sharp and rounded teeth. I'll write that down on our, our chart. So baby tigers have sharp and rounded teeth. We found out that baby tigers have sharp and rounded teeth. The sharp teeth are for tearing meat and the rounded teeth are for chewing. That's exactly right. Now one way that we learn about something is to read one, two, three, four or more books about it. We learned about baby animals by hearing and discussing these books and we noticed what we learned and what we wondered. Hi, and now it is time for you to do your job. Um, when uh, Today you'll be doing some independent reading. When you do your independent reading, you're going to look for a nonfiction book. That means a book about a true thing. And when, um, if you do not have a nonfiction book in your home, you can always use um, your computer or laptop or uh, tablet and go to the Seattle Public Schools website. You can go to the website at seattleschools.org, select Student Portal, click on Academic Tools. You might find a nonfiction book that you like in Tumble Books or Pebble Go. You've probably seen these um, icons before in your library or classroom computers. Or you can visit Scholastic Learn at Home to find a book to read while you're doing your lesson today. When you do your lesson, you are going to have some jobs to do. Job number one, to read a book and write about it. While you're reading a book, you can write down what you're learning and wondering. You will have to draw a picture and write about the book when you're done. Be sure to write about the beginning, middle, and end. Do you have any more wonderings about the book? And also whether you like the book or not. And tell someone why you did like that book. You can always use a composition book and a pencil or just a plain piece of paper to do this job. You can also use one of the printed forms that you can get on the website or one of the printed packets that you can go when you pick up um, lunch from any of the schools around our area. Of course, the jobs are the same here. You're going to read and, or listen to a nonfiction book, draw and write about something that you've learned, and then when you're done, you can talk to someone about the book. So here's the space to draw. Here's the place for your words. All right. So um, this is your job for today. And um, remember to do all parts of the job. Read, talk about it, draw about your book. And think about the ways we used A Tiger Cub Grows Up to wonder and think about what we've learned. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.